This is the life story of Ayane Sakura. Ayane Sakura is a Japanese voice actress. She's one of the rising star and also the most unique voice actress in the voice acting industry. Ayane is most notably known for her popular role as Ochaka Uraraka from My Hero Academia, Iroha Ishiki from My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu, Yotsuba Nakano from The Quintessential Quintuplets, and Nao Tomori from Charlotte. She's a veteran voice actress that had been in the industry since 2010. But in the past couple of years that she became more well-known and recognized by a lot of people, not only in the Japan, but around the world. And we're gonna know why she became recently popular even though she's in the industry for so long and why she's the most unique voice actress. Keep on watching because after you heard Ayane Sakura's story, she will be one of your favorite seiyu. Ayane Sakura was born on January 29, 1994 in Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan. At a very young age, Ayane had a desire in becoming an actress. That's why in junior high school, she enrolled in a theater acting school and she also joined the prestigious child actor agency, Kegidan Tohai Corporation. Ayane joined Tohai because beyond becoming an actress, she was interested in seeing the making of the movies and anime. She had admiration for the world of behind the scene work like makeup artists, costume designer, and producer. That's one of the reasons she joined a troop because she would able to catch a glimpse of those people working behind the scene. Her junior high school days is very busy time for Ayane because she also went to a Seiyu training school called Japan Narration Actors Institute when she was in third year. She also studied Japanese dancing, stretching, sword fighting because she has been physically weak from a young age. That's why she does a lot of things so she can straighten her physical ability. However, after performing on stage, she realized that she was different and decided that acting was no longer a suitable career for her. Since she was the type to not want to learn more about herself, she didn't know what to express. In their troupe, they often did play similar to etudes where they asked them to perform freely. But she had zero desire to express herself, so she could not answer that. That's when she first realized that maybe she was not fit for acting. Also, her voice acting training instructor suggested that she should try out and pursue a career in voice acting. She thinks that the reason her instructor suggested that she was fitted on voice acting is that she had a quality of voice that was better fit for the microphone. Also, she said that she was really awful at memorizing the script, but she was relatively good at acting while reading. At that point, Ayane Sakura decided to become a voice actress. That's why instead of being an actress, Ayane decided to pursue the path of voice acting. On April 1, 2009, she became affiliated with I'm Enterprise. Some of the popular seiyu that were also affiliated with I'm Enterprise are Hiroshi Mono, Maya Uchida, Kaede Hondo, and Saori Hayami. Then in 2010, at the age of 16, Ayane Sakura debuted. Her debut role is from Keroro Gunso The Super Movie. Then her next role, she voiced Potaba Shiryuki from Okami-san and her 7 companion as well as voicing background characters in Oreimo. When Ayane entered the industry in 2010, she wanted to be someone who upheld the true image of a seiyu. Someone like Oyama Nobuyo, she wanted to do things a seiyu does, things like working in the studio and once in a while being featured on TV. However, just after she debuted, Ayane was around 16 to 17 years old. She realized so early that in the seiyu industry, you would not survive just by doing voice acting alone. If you want to survive, the industry warranted something more than just being in front of a microphone. That's why Ayane thinks that the current direction of the voice acting industry is starting to lose its course. Then in 2011, she received her first ever main role in the anime series You Make We Mary as Mary Nightmare. And she was also the one who performed the ending theme song of You Make We Mary. In the same year, she also voiced the main character Hotaru Takigawa from the popular short film Hotaru Bino Morie. In the year 2012, her major role that year is Mari from Joshiraku, Ayami Orori from Pretty Rhythm Dear My Friend, and Mia Bikanagi from Nakaimo, which she performed the ending theme song Heavenly Lover together with the other cast member of Nakaimo. And also, Ayane and other cast of Joshiraku performed the opening theme song of Joshiraku, Oatagao Yoroshiku Teyo. Then in 2013, is a very big year for Ayane Sakura. Because she voiced so many major roles such as Asuka Mishima from Kimi no Irumachi, Yuiko Enomoto from Lab Lab, Natsumi Koshigaya from Nonon Biori, and Akane Ishiki from Vivid Red Operation. 
Kaya ni Sakura revealed in an interview that 2013 is a very tough year for her but it's also a turning point in her life. For the past couple of years since she debuted, she was very troubled. She doesn't have a clear memory of those days. Her memory being foggy lasted for 3 years and 2013 was the year she budded into a proper voice actress. She remembered that after recording for episode 2 of the anime Big B Dread Operation, her voice would not come out at all. After going to the hospital, she was diagnosed with a vocal nodule. She thought that she might have to quit being a voice actress. Fortunately, after half a year, she was fully recovered. During her recovery, she was thinking about finding her next job because anytime, she can lose her voice acting career. She also realized how much she loved being a voice actress and just how much her manager worked hard for her sake because she did not see her manager as a human being. She said that because she is still a teenager that doesn't understand the concept of adults. However, after what happened, she really felt that she caused a lot of trouble to the people around her and she realized that how many adults work hard for her sake. After that, she learned a lot of things and she learned to see her manager as a fellow human being. That's when she realized that she did not have many opportunities in her life, thus part to be deeply influenced by other people. According to her, she only made one friend in primary school due to not being in the same circle as those who had many friends. Moving from one group to another, transferring school halfway through her middle school life and having a job. She was unable to deeply affected by another because she always lived worrying about what others thought about her. However, Ayane is now different because right now, she started cherishing others. She also started to understand working on a company. She started to think of other people around her like when the mother their job and they stop. So she knew what kind of role she needed to fulfill. She became a professional and responsible adult. Because of that, she is able to get along with her senpai and broaden her horizon. I'm really shocked when I first know about this info because Ayane got a vocal nodule. But if she did not get the vocal nodule, she might not realize a lot of things. Losing her voice is a blessing this guys for her. Because it was the initiation for her to wake up and grow up to become adult. It's really inspiring because most of the seiyu doesn't share their private life, especially their struggles in life. We always see the seiyu as a wonderful and talented being, but we don't get to know the struggle that they need to overcome before they become the person on what they are right now. That's why Ayane gained my respect because she is so open to sharing about her life. I don't know anything about her before, but after all the interview I watch and read, all the radio show I watch, I really became a fan of her. She is so unique and after learning about her backstory, all I can say about her, she is so awesome. I have a lot of respect for Ayane for sharing this and this information is so hard to find. That's why I want to people to know about the struggle Ayane faced and how she overcame it. After the top year, 2014 on the other hand is a start of a new beginning for Ayane. And 2014 is a very good to start her new journey. Because not only does she voice a lot of major role, but she also voice from a lot of popular anime. She voice Haru Onader from Nisikoi, Koko Wahoto from Is the Order a Rabbit, Mika Shimotsuki from Psychopass, Yuzuki Korebayashi from Selector Infected Wixos, Levi Kazama from Trinity 7. And her biggest role of 2014, she voice Chubaki Sawabe from Your Lie in April. Also, Ayane together with Inori Minase, Risa Taneda, Maya Uchida, and Satomi Sato performed the opening theme song of Is the Order a Rabbit. Then 2015 on the other hand is not a big year for Ayane because most of the role she voice are from the anime adaptation of Kantai Collection. However, at the same year, she voice her two most iconic role, Iroha Ishiki from Oregairu and Naoto Mori from Charlotte. 2016 is the same as 2015. The notable role she voiced in 2016 are Roka Narusawa from Occult 9 and another iconic role, Ochako Uraraka from My Hero Academia. 2017 might be the most successful year so far for Ayane Sakura because she voiced so many major roles such as Hikari Chuneki from Seirin, Tina from Chain Chronicles, Ryoko Kaji from Churezure Children, Ran Mitaki from Bang Dreams, Niwatori from Juni Tyson, and Shizuku Hanaoka from Welcome to the Ballroom. And because of her excellency for her role as Shizuku Hanaoka, she was awarded as the Best Supporting Actress. 
and also she was awarded a personality award in the 12 Seiyu Awards. Not only 2017 is the most successful year for Ayane Boy's acting career, but it's also a successful year for her radio show partner, Saori Onishi, who also happens to be awarded as the Best Supporting Actress and Personality Award in the 12 Seiyu Awards. Then Ayane and Saori radio show Sakura Toshitai Onishi won the Best Radio in the Newcomer category for the 3rd Annual Aniraji Awards. In 2018, she voiced so many characters, but a lot of them are minor roles or just returning role. And the only major role she voiced in are Yu Osawa from Miss Koizumi, Lab Ramen Noodles, Haski Komai from Kishihu Gako no Juliet, and Saiko Yonabayashi from Tokyo Go 3. 2019 is the same as 2018. The only major role she has in 2019 is Rin Asano from Mugen no Junin Immortal, and her newest iconic role, Yotsuba Nakano from Quintessential Quintuplets. 2020 is a big year for Ayane because she voiced in so many popular anime. She voiced Hina Sato from Kamisama ni Natagi, Sekres Walotel from Black Clover, Felicia Mitsuki from Maho Shoujo Madoka Magica Gaiden, and Gabi Bron from Attack on Titan Final Season. Then 2021 is a harem year for Ayane Sakura because she voiced in a lot of harem anime. She voiced Misumi Tomoe from Chukimichi, Shirokusa Kachi from Osamake, Saki Saki from Kanojo Mo Kanojo, and Yotsuba Nakano. Also, she voiced Yulia from Meryuko-chan. For 2022 and other future roles of Ayane Sakura that we only know that she will be voicing in are Juri Hatori from Heroin Tarumono, Rosalia from Demo Sakura no Oto, Ana Hojo from Love After World Domination, Amarate from Kenja no Denshi, and she will be returning to voice Felicia Mitsuki, Gabi Bron, and Yotsuba Nakano. Just like I said earlier before making this video, I don't know anything about Ayane Sakura beside her being so friendly and the one say you who's always the most energetic person in the room. However, we learned that back then, Ayane is not a person who's always cheerful. That's why I'm so happy because I got to know her growth and learn about her life. Her story is one of my favorite because we got to see how she overcome all the struggles she faced and how she become a wonderful person. Ayane Sakura is a really interesting person. Her story is inspiring to all of us who wanted to change and become a wonderful person like her.